Hi there, and welcome to the Anamorphic Lencyclopedia, a community effort to catalog and distribute access to hard data about anamorphic lenses and adapters. This is a perfect resource to help you decide what's your next lens or to argue with your friends about what's the best anamorphic out there. The coolest thing about the Lencyclopedia is that anyone, including you, can contribute with data. Click on Add Lens on the top banner and start sharing info on your most prized scopes. In the next little bit, I'll go over how to collect the data so the process is as easy as possible for us to build this library together. Looking at the website, there's a variety of things to collect. We'll start with your info so the team knows our key collaborators. This will also help speed up the approval process as you submit more lenses. Now, what type of entry are you adding? Is this an anamorphic lens, an adapter, a focuser, or a diopter? Pick one from the drop-down menu and that'll affect some of the other fields. Let's pick the classic anamorphic adapter and talk about the differences later. Add in the lens name, the manufacturer, the stretch factor, and a nice photo while you're at it. If you're a photographer or cinematographer, you know what a good photo means. And please make it 1200 by 700 pixels so it fits the template. In coverage, type what's the widest you can go on this adapter along with sensor size information, like 35 millimeters on full frame. Does this adapter have front filter threads? What's their size? If they're non-standard, make sure to use a thread gauge to add the proper pitch. How much does this adapter weigh? A simple kitchen scale will do. Please note if you're adding the info in pounds or grams. For size, we're referring to the length of the adapter. A ruler will do, but a caliper is ideal for a more accurate number. Next, measure the focus throw by checking how many degrees you can turn the ring between infinity and minimum focus. While you're at it, write down the minimum focus and specify if it's in metric or imperial. On the mount field, add info about rear threads or if the adapter has any other built-in mounting system. If nothing is present, write down not applicable. Pick the focusing mechanism from the drop-down menu. If we're talking about adapters, the most likely option is double focus. Now you should use a caliper to measure the lens's front and rear element in millimeters. And repeat the process for the front and rear threads. Plus, use a thread gauge to get their pitch. This is incredibly valuable info that helps with making clamps and rigging in general. On mounting solutions, you can go over what you see as the best way to mount this lens. Does Rapido offer a clamp? How about RAF or RADSTAN? Is it a DIY clamp? On more info, you can add anything you find relevant about this lens that hasn't matched any of the previous fields. And in Shot On, share with us some work using this lens. Then hit Submit and you're good to go. This will send the form over to the admin team and will implement the info onto the database. Now, if you're submitting info on something else than an anamorphic adapter, there are small differences. When adding data about an anamorphic lens, you will definitely have mount information or options and a max aperture value. In coverage, add the sensor size covered by this lens instead of how wide does it go? When adding a focuser, the stretch factor becomes wide angle factor. As almost all focusers are based around a variable diopter system, which ends up making the whole field of view wider. If you're unsure about the wide angle factor, add here where the donor optics are coming from for this focuser. Last, for diopters, the stretch factor is replaced with diopter power, plus half, plus one, plus two, etc. And a lot of other fields are either disabled or hidden. For the sake of consistency, some fields can't be added by everyone, such as distortion, sharpness, and flares. But if you're confident in the quality of your tests, reach out through the contact us page and we'll work out how to include your findings. This project's been in the making for several years, so it's a great relief to finally put it out there. Now, really, help us build it up. Chitta for headings, out.